On today's episode of Moto Cheese. Check out this old pipe. That's like a weld. I didn't even realize it. Talk about restriction. It's pretty bad. It was tiny to begin with. New exhaust come in. Oh wow. That actually looks pretty nice. Wow, that looks actually might be fairly quiet. Pretty good size. Not bad. Don't have my carb yet, but I think it's coming today. So maybe I'll try it with the stock carb and then I'll put the other carb on. See what the difference is. This is definitely not going to be a direct bolt on. As you can see, I'll show you. Can you see that? Damn, that would be good, but it's pushing it too far back. It's hitting the starter. No, well, guess you know what that means. Time for fully custom. Boy, that. That's the right size though. That fits right in there. And it's big. Well, as big as this pipe, which is narrowed down. That'll take care of my little bottleneck. Might be able to machine that to fit on this other end. This neck has to be about here. Wow, that'll work actually pretty good. <laughs> it's off a Ninja 250 I had. Gonna have to work. Gonna have to make it work. Don't forget, you can always cut off. It's not as easy to add on. Don't laugh at the best I could do until I learn how to TIG weld. It's definitely not going to leak. Good penetration. Everything's good. So that's it. I know, it's not pretty. I still got to get the bolt in there. That's up there. This is just loose, but I want to see what this thing sounds like. A little bit louder than I'd like it to be, but it's not terrible. Let's get her bolted up. There's the old pipe. Take it for a little rip. Let's see if the restrictive pipe does make a difference. Took the restrictor plate off, give the hell cougar a little more juice. But let's keep that on the down low. Then I'll retighten all the bolts. Holy mackerel. Yep, makes a big difference. <laughs> oh my god. Gave myself a little more clearance too. Now I can make a little bash plate. <laughs> Power lift now, baby. Wow, they weren't lying. Wow. Yep. Definitely woke it up. Tighten up the bolts. <sighs> Smell something. Must be new exhaust burning off. Or is it that? Oh, uh, maybe it's that. The little hanger thing they give you is kind of not great. Other than that, wow. When I say that stock exhaust is restrictive, it is. Big difference. Harley. It, is pretty, it does sound pretty good. I know he's gonna like it. Definitely nice.
definitely a lot better, right? Yeah, it sounds a lot better. It feels a lot that better. thing got some nice mid-range pull now, don't it? Yeah, it's got a lot of pull. Yanks right up, first gear. I mean, power, power first. Second will float, like if you bang yeah, it. Cool. Yeah, it's definitely nice. It's got a lot of power. Real fast. It looks like it's melting. Uh, probably. You know. It was smell. It was stinking. Smell it. I thought it might have been the plastic. Maybe it is the plastic, but it looks like it, it tapped it once or twice. I do smell it though. It's definitely nasty. That's for sure. Right? Holy cow! Oh my god! That is the babiest inchworm ever. I wanted to take it off my arm. I don't even know where to put it. Throw in the woods. He's yeah, like I've, stuck on your hair, man. I know. Yeah, I had it up to 65. Oh, did you? Cruising, though. Like, oh, yeah, like nothing. Yeah, cruising. That's nice. That's definitely nice. I still don't know if I want to go down to 15 on the front for the trails. I don't need to go, you know, 70, 80 miles an hour. I know. Shorts and a tank top. Some call it a wife beater. Get out! Now you can ride with the big boys, Whitey. That's right, the ZX-10. Cause you fast. <laughs> I could have got more out of it, but that's enough for now. I'm not gonna go that fast too often. It's just for test purposes. I think it'll touch 80 now. Everybody was right. Pipe is too restrictive. You can run it, you're just not going to get the full potential. Meanwhile, you can try unbaffled. There is a lot of air coming out of this thing. Like a lot of air. Oh my god, that's so loud. She has more power with that baffle in it at this point, which means I could probably jet it up. But I think I'm just going to put the baffle in it. That's so loud. It's obnoxious. It's too loud. I got to show how much air comes out of this thing. For a 190. It's definitely set up for performance. Oh, what I was doing, this is off a 600 Yamaha and it has this valve. I still might end up putting this valve on the end, but I put it on there and it was a little deeper, but it's still loud. And you can't, this must be real titanium. I don't know what this is, but you can't weld to it. It turns it super, super brittle. Soon after. Oh, he had a possum. A fling possum. See? It is the newest craze. Still running on the same starter chain that I peened. I have the heavy duty chain in. Comes with master links. It does look it's quite a bit heavier. Would have put it in, but I definitely want to take the time and make some spacers for where the guides are so that the chain has basically no slack. Be cool if you could put a little tensioner from underneath be cool if you could fit some gears in there. You need two gears so it would reverse it and then put it back. I'm actually surprised at how well these knobby tires are holding up for on the road. I mean, I have 999 miles going to be in two tenths of a mile, three tenths. And I basically put them knobbies on when this had, geez, I think less than 100 miles. So I got a thousand miles on these knobbies. They're still in great shape. Totally worth it if you're going to go off road. I don't think I'd like a Grom or a Grom clone if I was stuck to sticking on a pavement. You know me, I like my off-roading. Thousand miles.
haven't been through here in years. Hmm. Whitey, what are you doing in here, Whitey? I don't think you're supposed to be in here. Oh, God. Them dirt bags. I should come back up here with Minnie, pick them up. Yep, ruin it for everybody. That's why they put gates and fences all around everything. Let's see what else we can find, Whitey. I guess I'll put my gloves. Stitched up my old gloves at Spider Wire. Just so I have a knock around pair. Oh, it must be just parking lot big rock and more garbage can you climb that whitey yeah right A little 190 thumper runs good Must have been a house here. Somebody's still maintaining it. That is really beautiful around here in the summer. I have a lot of people commenting and saying that it is. When you live somewhere a long time, you don't appreciate what you have. And it really is beautiful around here in the summer. Baby snake. I know I'm not seeing things. Where is it? solo today the heck oh I would say this is abandoned hmm might have been somebody's summer home To me, this is like the most therapeutic thing that I could do. You don't have to go fast to have fun. You just get out there and ride and explore, hit the back roads. There's nothing like it. It's all about the ride. You're doing good, Johnson. 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 The heck is that? I don't want to know. Every time I pick something up, people say it's for wiping poop.
Imagine if they made an e-motor that fit on this thing. That'd be awesome. Get over. Jeez. This thing is insane. What the heck's going on here? I better stop at Gumby Lands. Wow. Oh boy, put a little bit too much. This is my favorite bike now. <laughs> Wait till I get that carburetor on it. That flat slide carburetor is coming in today. Might even be there when I get home. Uh oh. Cops are after somebody. Oh, they got him. They got him. My rear brakes faded a little bit. They're still there. They're just lower than where they normally are and they work to think when I first bought this stock with no work this was the max speed right here might have to look into a performance CDI for this it advances the timing a little bit changes the advance curve for the you know for the timing throughout the RPM range look at all those packages whitey that's why Nut backed off. That's all it was. Oh, uh, look at this. Everybody's been waiting. They're going out. They'll be out in the mail Monday. Oh, look what else is here, boys. Oh, yeah. My good luck, fish head. Good enough for me. What's up, Bucky? Oh, so dusty, you can't even see. bad here. Yeah? He did it.
bike. Whitey's not so whitey now. Oh, what's that? Oh, no. Oh, we're getting him. Is that a Lambo? You race that Lambo, Whitey? You had him. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'd love to hear what you have to say. Hit that bell if you want new notifications on new videos. Links for products used are in the description and on MotoCheese.com. Thanks for watching.